In January 2012, I embarked on the fight of my life. I've had 11 back-to-back -back operations, over 385 tumors removed from my body, currently living with a malignant peripheral neurological sheath tumor, which is a rare sarcoma. Out of the 385 tumors removed from my body, the only two that were malignant were the two before my plant-based transition. This could have only been possible through the transition to a whole plant-based, not diet, but lifestyle. A diet is something you can do when you feel like it. A lifestyle is what you live by. This is why we say we eat to live and why we say we train to live. Because we don't work out either. Working out is something you can do when you feel like it. When you train to live, that's waking up every morning knowing that if I don't go get this training, I'm going to die. It's the same thing with the food. If I do not keep this food at elevated levels in my blood, I am gonna revert back to the old acidic me. My cancer is going to proliferate and I am going to die. So I can honestly look you in your eye and tell you that without a whole food, plant-based transition and lifestyle. D. Anthony Evans would not be. This right here is pine nut stew. These pine nuts have been simmered for 17 hours because when you, you cook it high heat, nine times out of 10, it, it cooks all of the nutrients or cuts the nutrients in half. Um, and I've been taught to try to preserve as much nutrients as possible. So they're kind of in a baby food consistency and one cup of pine nuts is 18 grams of protein and 900 calories just on his face. I'm gonna dump these in. This is one cup of pine nuts, one cup of blueberries. Then we're gonna do a cup of spinach. It's wilted a little bit because we've added water, but a cup of spinach. Then we'll do a tablespoon of hemp hearts. Hemp is good for your omega-3s, the things they say you can only get from fish. News flash, all your omega-3s are located in hemp protein. We're gonna get the hemp, hemp hearts uh, cousin, the chia seeds, which as you see on the on the bag, high in iron, high in the omega-3s as well. Good source of calcium, excellent in fiber, and last but not least, it's gluten-free. It's not osmosis. It's a determined, deliberate effort to get up every morning and know that nothing is more important than the fuel you put in your body. You can't do anything without it. There's no living off of anything other than food. So if food is not your number one priority, what are you really doing? What are you bringing to the table? So we need some sort of liquid to add to this. So in here we have a little cashew milk. It can be soy milk, it can be almond milk. I particularly like cashew milk. So we need to add a little of that and we will blend it up. So let's see what happens. Shazam! Cheers, babe. You know, I'm not special. The same strength,
courage and determination that's within me is within you too. You just have to find it. And once you find it, you have to activate it. See, for me and everybody in remission, it's about our diagnosis. For you, it just might be about the diet transition that you can't work out or figure out. But whatever you're going through, don't let it dictate, define, or control your quality of life. If they've diagnosed you with a terminal diagnosis, I want you to keep those hands up, keep your head tucked, and don't you dare stop swinging until it's over.